Hi, in this video, I would like to pay some attention to this option here that gives us the ability to configure each tab. Now, some of the options here are shared in between all the tabs and some of them change depending on which tab is active. For example, right now, the sample points tab is active and you see I have some uh, options concerning the sample points dialog. I talked about this option in the sample points video. If I activate the palettes tab here, I have some additional options concerning the palettes and uh, here I have some really useful options that I'll show you in the next video, part two about palettes. Now I'm going to talk about in this video about uh, the common options that we have here. Now the first one is adding tabs. Here you can see all the tabs that we can add. These are actually dockable dialogues that you can access from here also. So each tab here represents a dockable dialog. The close tab, this will mean that we are going to close this tab and then if we want to add it again, we can use this option. What detach tab means, we can detach this dialog to make it floating dialog. And again, we can attach it like that. Now lock to tab, what this means is that if I select this option, I won't be able to detach this dialog. So you see this option here is grayed out. This is useful if you sometimes accidentally detach your dialogues. You can lock them, but have in mind that you have to do it separately for each tab. It doesn't work on all tabs. Now the next option here is tab style. You can uh, see it as an icon, like it's right now. You can see it as a text. And again, it works only for the active tab. You can see it as a text and icon like that. The next option here uh, is show image selection. Now this one may bring some confusion to some of the users. To show you that I'll have to make a new image here, which will open in a new window. And now if I uncheck this show image selection, watch here, this is the option th that uh, this is referring to. You see how this disappears. Now what this is, um, what this options here are about, right now this window is on the front and I'm seeing the options for this window. I'm seeing the layer here. If I switch to the other window, you see how the options here change. Now I can click here and select this other uh, window options here. And right now I am having this window active, but I see the options for the other window. So for example, I can transfer this image here if I like. Control Z to undo that. If you double click on auto here, you will get the uh, options for the current window that it's activated. So here, this auto follow active image, by default, GIMP is following the windows that you're having active on the front. So you see here, if I get this window active, I get the options here, but you can uncheck that from here and not follow this. And if I make this window active, you see that the options from the previous window will remain here. I recommend you keep this the way it is and only if you want to transfer some layers from another window, you can use these options here. So that's basically it for all the common options here. In the next video, we'll talk about the options here concerning palettes. Bye for now.